Hey everyone, it is Captain Bryn back from vacation with, you know, some good stuff like a sword, but I will show that off probably in another video. I'll have it hung up somewhere behind here, but I haven't gotten to it because I've been doing our stuff. But it has been a fun break. Uh, yeah, like the last five videos, I believe I've been on break. So yeah, I have short hair, which actually happened a couple weeks ago now. A lot has happened. I have, I discovered some new decks. We're going to play the spell making one today. Oh, uh, have a couple other new ones. I first up did not get to Thief. I got to Atronach this month, or December. Oh, uh, and so I was just busy and I didn't play that much. Oh, uh, but I got a whole bunch of soul gems. I got pretty much every, I did get every Festival of Madness uh, deal, including three copies of Mule Omnir, which if you do this auto trap and I hit the non-premium one, it showed I was gaining 500. Uh, well, I don't know why I canceled that, I might as well do that. It showed I was getting 500, this whole thing happened. And then I had 7,000 gems because I gained 2,400 from trapping two of these guys. Which is weird because you can't trap it normally. But I will take it. And then I crafted uh, this support, which I have never played with. I crafted two of them with those two copies and made this World Eaters Ebonheart deck, which has not worked out the Kings. It's not very good right now. Oh, uh, I'll give you a sneak peek of it. It uh, has 31, <laughs> 7 cost or higher creatures, uh, and it has 96 cards in it, so it's not great. But we're going to play the spellmaking deck once I rant, because uh, a couple things have... I've normally... I'm going to try not to do this, but I'm going to rant and give you an update of what's going to happen. I'm going to continue Worlds of Myths. Uh, we're going to continue playing Elder Scrolls Legends, the regular one. I have finally, finally set up being able to play the Elder Scrolls in, or the Elder Scrolls Asian client. And so, I don't know if I'll be able to uh, share my experience with that game on the channel or not. Mainly because it's very laggy. I don't know if, it, if it's my emulator, my PC, or what. But it's something on my end so I'm going to work on that but it keep an eye it might be coming if it does come I might make this the regular Elder Scrolls Legends only have one video a week and have the Asian clan be once a week Worlds of Mist twice a week or I may even dial back and do Worlds of Mist once a week oh uh, and I'm a little behind on schedule right now of what my usual schedule was of two Worlds of Mist a week two Elder Scrolls Legends a week this one's coming out on the weekend as shown here. Uh, I'm also not going to showcase my popper gauntlet, but if you want I will at least show this because I'm 3 one right now and it's not a bad deck. Uh, if you want budget decks, this is the gauntlet to either test those budget decks, discover new budget decks just by playing the game and seeing what your opponents are playing. This is what I made. I wanted this Moon Moth uh, Castellan to give me random guards that were not common but so far it's only been giving me common guards which I think is it's good because otherwise the card would be broken but you could definitely replace these and maybe even Knight of the Hour but basically I've been able to outlast my opponents just by uh, keeping uh, where is it the Highwayman alive to draw and gaining health with every other card that's basically in there so if you need a popper gauntlet pause the video back there take the cards, do what you wish with it. It's pretty good. I'm not going to record just because I'm not having as much fun with this gauntlet. It's not necessarily boring, just I'm not having enough fun to showcase it, whereas this other one I'm excited for. But I'm giving myself two minutes to rant. So if you don't want to listen to me rant, skip to six minutes and 30 seconds. Basically, I'm going to rant about net decking because by watching this video, you are net decking. So if you're here and you hate net decking, please log off now and subscribe, get off YouTube, 
get off the internet, never look at anything that are Scrolls Legends related on the internet because if you're watching this video, whether or not you copy the deck code that's in my description slash on Twitter, you are net decking by seeing the idea of another deck and if you somehow play a number of those cards in a very similar deck or just take the are influenced by that deck, you are net decking. So if you hate net decking, please log off now. I have no quarrel with net decking. I think it's fine, obviously, because I want to be sharing my deck ideas with you guys if I hated it. So there's that. If you hate net decking, then never get on the internet or anything like that. If players want to improve, you learn by those who came before you. You don't need to work from scratch when things have not or things have already been built. Why build from the ground up when you can take someone else's idea, improve on it, and make it your own? Or just have fun. This game's about having fun. My channel's about having fun. I I try to promote positivity here. If you are a hater, please leave. <laughs> if you don't like what I'm doing, you can leave a dislike and leave. I'm fine with it. I'm here to have fun, showcase what I what decks I like, and if you don't like my Burn Assassin deck or any other aggro deck, then bye. <laughs> I like aggro decks. I have no problem with aggro decks. So, okay, rant's over, by the way. Although, I could go on a rant about aggro decks. I like aggro decks. They are simpler in that you don't have as many choices to make, but that's aggro by definition. Aggro means you are simply hitting face as quick as you can, as hard as you can, and as often as you can. And thus, with how card games work, even in other, even in Worlds of Myths, if you're one to play aggro, it's mindless in, a, in the same sense that aggro here is mindless. You don't have as many choices to make, whereas this Alter Spellmaking deck is a combo deck. You don't want to hit face as often you want to hold off the trigger every now and then you want to play your combos out you want to not play certain cards on early turns such as crown quartermaster until later turns so that a certain combo will go off and that centers around altar of spellmaking if you're unfamiliar with the tamriel collection altar spellmaking is a support that costs two it's only in guild sworn and it is, if you play a creature, item, action, and support all in one turn, you play the top card of your deck for free. So forewarning, if you hate RNG, this video is not for you. However, as I kind of mentioned a couple videos ago, the first uh, legendary card I crafted was Mundestone. I think it's hilarious when RNG works. I understand people who complain about it. It's not the most strategic, it's not, doesn't really help skill or really show any skill because you just play stuff and it's awesome. Uh, but again, that's. <laughs> if you hate RNG, that means Shadowfoot's gone. If you want no RNG in any card game, good luck. I mean, even World of Myths. For the most part, there's no RNG, but there's still enough random things that can happen. And it would be enough if I hate RNG that I don't think I would like it. But I, it, RNG is frustrating. Also, him breaking his first rune is a goal of mine because we also have forward camp and forward camp summons East March Crusaders who draw a card if your opponent has broken a rune. So that is basically where I stop hitting face. Once, uh, our opponent has lost his first rune, we simply just wait until we have enough board to OTK him. And we try to maintain health, so on and so forth. But, back to RNG. I'm fine with RNG. Oh, uh, it's frustrating, especially with Invade, that was frustrating. I agree. I still don't know my opinion on Invade. I think it's very war friendly, as in it's a very cool way to integrate the gates into a game. Darn it. I want to execute that. Um, I think we can run play Burma, even though we don't need the health. And we'll let him 
deal the damage. We'll go ahead and get him down to 21. But you, there's ways to play around the RNG. Even in with invade, even with the invade combo, it was very difficult. You needed the right cards at the right time. But by playing any size deck and shuffling it, there's an RNG aspect to the game. And that's why Alter Spell Making is an RNG card, because it plays the top card, and sometimes that top card is Marek, and sometimes that is Crown Quartermaster. So you could get really lucky, or you could not. And I think... <sighs> Dang it, we need more stuff. Where's our Alter Spell Making? I think... We're gonna do this, and then we're gonna sit. Oh... Uh, because we want our altars. I'm here to have fun and pull random stuff off the top of my deck and have fun with it. Because playing a free Marak is awesome. <laughs> yes, it's OP, but hey. Shoot. I think we do this and this and we... I think we go ahead and hit just so we have five extra health to stop this 16 damage or not necessarily to stop but to weaken the 16 damage that's coming this is a great card by the way <laughs> I haven't said my opinion on the yikes especially when you get four of them OP perhaps do you know what else is OP <laughs> do you want to know what else, in my opinion, is overpowered? <laughs> Do you know what else I think is overpowered? I haven't played an action yet. I can't play Abner. Darn it. And that is not... Darn it, I can't even execute my own creature. Well, we can at least stop some of that. Don't we still don't have the way. So we got to do this, and just because I'm here to trigger alter spell making, we are triggering it like so. Hitting end our turn. Pay an RNG, you will hate this video. Like I said. <laughs> I like having fun. This is a deck where you can make comebacks. I have, I believe, three copies of Heart Oracle. I think I'm still dead. So you can make a comeback. It's very difficult. Oh, uh, and I think last turn I would have played that differently to where Abner Thorn came out. Actually, we might still be alive because Heart Oracle can come down. Never mind. It's hard to get past this guardian. So, deck's not perfect. I know it's not perfect. Half my decks aren't perfect. They're for fun. Oh, uh, I get to Legend by the Burn Assassin deck and other aggro decks. This one, I think it's about got a 50-50 uh, win-loss rate. So, most of my decks kind of are like that. I'm not a professional deck builder. I'm not top 10 player. I haven't made top 10. I play this game because I have fun. And I want to share that, which is why I came on here. I'm trying to really get my system working so I can collaborate with our people, participate in tournaments, so on and so forth. Oh, uh, so if you don't want to share, have fun with me, then by all means, peace out. Also, Explore is not a great card. I mean, it's a great card, I think, in a Unite the Houses deck. It, I only put it in here because it's a cheap one cost action. That can fetch you either a support or item, which are generally what I need to trigger altar spell making. The risk is it's a random of that kind. And you will not always get what you want. As in, I want a cheap support and a cheap item. Occasionally you get some good stuff. This support we are probably going to destroy. Destroy by playing four or more supports. Or more than four supports. But, we're going to keep Rapid Shot. 
because I need a cheap action. We're going to keep drawing supports. Because eventually we're going to get a good one. Such as this. And they're premium. I love the premium supports. Although this girl isn't the neatest premium in my opinion. Somewhere I'm going to see is pretty. Doesn't really do much good. Yikes. I don't like any of this. Because I'm doing that. So. Sorry about 15 minutes of basically ranting. But. I'm just. You know. I get. The more you stare at. Uh, hate on the internet. The more it upsets you. That. A great card. Because I can check this and kill this one. And we are playing against a very standard Redoran Rally deck, which is fine. But we're going to do this. I think. Oh, I thought I misclicked. I misclicked a couple times over the break, and it was not fun. So we have that. Oh, we do have a rough shot. Then I can spend. And then I think we guild sworn apprentice down. To stop this damage to our face. There's the altar. So, next turn we can alter Cor Crown Quartermaster, Rapid Shot, play the dagger, and trigger Altar of Spellmaking from hand, and you know, have fun. And my, I'm sorry, my nose is a bit itchy. So, I'm rubbing it constantly. Or you could just call it a tick, whichever you want. And if you heard Mufasa, there he was. And then we crown Quartermaster. We crown Quartermaster over here. Rapid shot you down. And play our item. And we're going to save these elixirs. That's pretty good. That's better because I hate for all these rallies to hit that forerunner. So. Thank you. And then next turn we have Don's Wrath to hopefully clear this field lane, which I am hoping, hoping that he plays his next card in the field lane. Forward camp is not the best. I need my heal. My drain. My life. I know a shortcut. And of course you go over there. No. That's interesting that he didn't play that earlier. But We can still wipe out this lane, which I think I have to do. Before we do that, I need to pop a rune for Ford Camp to actually go off. So, that's going, that's going. And then he still has a 3 3 with Ward, which I don't like. Most of those rallies seem to be going onto that sea bound captain? Seasoned captain. And we if we lose, we're going again. Another drill. There's only so much that honor can allow. Three the there. Don't play that trooper. Fine, play, play the trooper. Okay, we can fervor, execute, redder and forerunner, and we don't have an item. Further. Forerunner, and we execute that. And then we at least gain some health, and we are still alive. Almost triggered it, but at this point we need to survive. And we have one health left, which these rallies. Probably going out to the charge creature? Or not. We are still dead. Maybe. And we can go over this one. Maybe I should have killed this, but then that would have been three, six, eight, and we wouldn't have had eight. So we're dead. So. Oh well. But this is a combo deck, and with combo decks, you have your good games and your bad games. And if it's a great combo deck, you always have good games. Guildsworn, 
I like it. I originally had this altar spell making deck uh, running expertise because when I found this idea, I got smeared by an opponent who was playing expertise and altar spell making. It was like, I need to play with that card. <laughs> so there you go. I basically net decked, but I learned from an opponent. So get mad or get not, not mad. So whichever. But I did not come up with this deck on my own. I will probably never claim to come up with a deck on my own. That's just how I am. We're going to throw back Shadowfoot because I don't want Shadowfoot right now. Why? Because I think so. <laughs> Forever I don't want either. But I had a bunch of Expertise cards in here because basically Altar Spellmaking you are triggering Expertise if you trigger Altar Spellmaking. And it was good, but I found myself spinning cards just to trigger the expertise when I don't think I should have been. I was and this the way I've crafted this goodness. There's something in here. That I'm partially safe. Um I found myself triggering the expertise without triggering the altar and I want to trigger the altar with this deck. And it's going to work. <laughs> it is going to work for this video. So, I hope you guys had a good Christmas break. I did. I got a sword. And you're going to have me talk about it a lot. Because swords are awesome. And I'm not rich enough to have an armory. <laughs> so, if you play the Elder Scrolls Legends Asia, add me on there. Same name, Captain Brennan, and such. Also, this Ozman is super great, but I think we have to play our Explorer because I don't have, I don't want to just play the Fervor. We do have two items, we have one support, so I think we just want another support. Lynch's Ascension does not trigger Altar of Spellmaking. Whatever. It is the complete opposite of which is essential. That's so annoying. Let's... I really hate to do this, but... We're going to save that last room charge, and... We could play Legends Ascension, but that totally screws up combo decks, because combo means play multiple cards at once. To do a particular goal. I'll do what I can. Lynch's Ascension. There's a combo with Lynch's Ascension. If you know Justin I'll Larson, he did it. And there's no way I'm going to suffer through that combo. <laughs> Good combo. Just not one that I wish to do. So, there's only one summon effect. We're going to draw. Darn. We are going to kill this guy. And this looks a lot like the Emperor buff deck. Hand buff deck. Maybe not hand buff, but just... No buff deck in general. Thankfully I have a Fervor to counteract this. And I have... I don't think he's going to trade in. If he does trade in, great. But he doesn't. Well, we want her, we can summon a support, which does not count as playing. The support. Keep that in mind because that screwed me over one time. But we can always play it and get an altar down and let's make him worry about Worldly Wonder. That's a waste of a steel sword in my opinion because steel swords you want to play when you can deal the three damage to something that you wish to. But I need, I just was prepping in case we burps the rune, I wouldn't overdraw. But I did not overdraw, so now I can trigger it. Especially when things like this. So there's the action, there's the support, there is the item, and there is the creature. And there's the health. I'm so glad we drew those two cards because 
Cygnus standard bearer is much, much better. And let's go over here. Let's build up both field lanes, or both lanes. Also, if you want to know how I got the Agent of the, or the, Agent of the Throne card back, it was by playing this deck and playing these Imperials over and over and over again. <gasps> Yikes! Is there any way we can deal with that? We can tr trigger Alter. Okay. That's seven. With Divine Fervor, we can kill this one. We can't kill this one. Yikes. We can also kill this one with items. So we could play Ebonheart, items. We have no action. I think we have to try. The nine and fire Let's first play this. We need an action that can miraculously save us. Nope. So that's four, seven. We do need all of it. I'll do what I must. No, we'll just, we will kill everything. And now we need support. If we, that's perfect support. So we can trigger Halter if we wish. Perfect. <laughs> perfect. <laughs> we have a turn. Darn it. Okay. We are triggering that ult. Ah! I mean, I can Encano that down. But we are still nearly dead. So, there is our support. Here is our creature, action, and item. All in one. So, let's... Fork bolt that. We will this. Let's put these to use. use this. And we did the action, item, support, and we'll just gain health. It's not worth it at this point. And now we get to play two free cards. That's a socket card to play for free. But we'll play it anyway. And I draw fervor. Nah, we still died. Nah. <laughs> we stole the Halloween. That's cool. We had too many good field cards, but we still lost. Seeing how this is only at half an hour, we... I would have done that very differently. But he still won. We haven't been able to kill the Guardians, have we? Maybe... This deck was good in December, so maybe with Guardians it's not so much. But we're gonna get another because I know I can win. We're going to try again. And yes, I've been trying and roll it. I want to win! I just want to win! And when I win, it will show what the deck does, and then you guys will like it. And maybe want to play it. Phenoite! And you know what's said? I've basically been playing long enough where I could have done the gauntlet. No, we're going to keep the exact same hand. Not to play the elixir. Maybe play the harpy. Not to play the harpy. <laughs> Golden initiates. Crusaders assault. And I know I keep rubbing in my face could call it a tick if you want or you could just call it that I'm sick and that I have an itchy nose Speak, citizen. come on we gotta win we got to win not just by kicking our opponents in the face but kicking 
our opponents with our altar of spell making. I want to win. Let's shed some light on the problem. Well, that's a little annoying that he gets a free firebolt, but that's. There's our altar. We just need an item. And the only items we have in this deck are generated. Which is fine, like, that's the point of all the our items only being generated rather than running in the deck. Because if you want to trigger your altar, you gotta play multiple things. That is worse, Shackling. Next turn, we either. Uh, oh, I was like, how'd he get that? But the moment of clarity. So we really don't want to waste too much on this guy. Crown Quartermaster, right now, would be amazing. Yeah. Eh, now it's not as much. I don't like any of this. Let's play Heaven Heart over here so that I might kill it and stop some damage. Which side you going? Shackle. That is fine. Give me an item! Gills or Noseman, Crown Quartermaster. Any of those would be great. That is even better. So let's go here. Darn it. I could have killed something else. That would have been more of a threat, but. Oh, so he's got two fire bolts. And a mostly blue deck. So, what's his yellow? Fino height. What is his yellow on your deck? Arn. Probably. What else is willpower? Maybe the card that's when you play an action, so a creature equals as the cost of the action. Hey, that's also good. I once knew a man my You're right, that's not a good action. <laughs> or that's not a good keyword. Although it is a good keyword, but personally I don't think it's good for him because I don't think he has very many creatures. Unless this one on the left is it. Ooh, guess which card? Does he guess correctly? He did not. Interesting that he would do that move. So we're going to let's kill this one, and then I know we this spell our chief action, but I'm sick of him rallying. That rally has to stop. And you know he doesn't have very many cards. He's got two really non-helpful cards. That's a way to kill those. Hey, we can now trigger altar. We can now trigger two altars. We are going to do this. We are so doing this. There is one. There. That. And there is two. And then. Rapid shot. More item. First item. We'll see about Kill this. this. We live. Fork bolt into that. And we will save everything else. There's items for next turn. There's creature and item for next turn, but I don't think we need creature and item, so that is fine. <laughs> We're gonna overdraw, but that's fine. Don't break a rune. Nah, he can break a rune. We can overdraw twice. Yep. We've already popped the rune. 
That's a totally fine. The discard. I don't need explore. Perhaps we can help one of <sighs> okay. We need to trigger this again. Action item support. Dondras. That's painful. Elixir. There's our support. Item. Creature in action. Let's put these to use. Let's make him pop his own rune. Action and creature. And we steal Manic Jack. That's really good. Thank you for the Manic Jack. Ooh, we could play Conjurer Support Spirit. Let's wait on that. Let's we'll wound this. Forward camp is much, much better. Although, with this split card, that kind of is annoying. Thank you for popping that root or that ward for me. <laughs> we are doing what we wanted to do. <gasps> what support are you playing? Oh, wait, that's the card you stole. <laughs> it's a great card to steal. Because I don't need it. Sickness, that sucks. Okay, thank you for the. Hey, I need the, the action. This is not the best. Let's heal. I'm at 8. I am at 8. So we can play the support. Which will immediately get dished away. And we get to draw. And now we need the item. So item onto this. And... I really should have played Burma. I really should have played that Burma earlier. We can go ahead and miss this elixir. And now we get two free cards. And we heal and we jab. That. <laughs> Yes, that's what we're supposed to do. This is exactly what we're supposed to do. Fatigue your opponent, go crazy, and in one fell swoop, you knock your opponent down. Oh, shoot. No, 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 no. no. The worst card ever. <sighs> okay, we are doing. Now we're gonna play this support. Man, is it pretty good? Let's win. We have enough. Let's do the fisting. Let's put things to use. There we go. We can have a whole bunch of fun. But just for the heck of it. <laughs> Die, Venice. <laughs> okay, finally, there we go. There's the deck. Succeeding and not succeeding. It's not a deck you climb to legend with it's a deck you have fun with so there you go and let's figure out whatever this is what's the reward do we get anything good not bad cool art more coins we have a ton of coins um we also have a pretty good collection we have finished jaws oblivion who's elsewhere not quite the lines where we finished how's marwin we're very close Skyrim we are even closer. We only have uh, legendaries left and then core we're pretty close. So any packs we get that we buy I'm going to buy core but I'm, I'm going to save gold for now. But thank you all for watching and we'll see you guys next time.